what happened after your biometrics and medical hey guys how is everyone out there my name is Sarah Buyukan I live in Calgary Alberta Canada and I love to share about life reality and if this is your first time welcome and if you are my returning subscribers thank you so much for watching I have to say I live in Calgary Alberta Canada it's because some of you guys are asking me Sarah where do you live and I said oh my goodness sake did ever did they ever what's my introduction <laughs> introduction <laughs> anyway guys today's video i am going to share uh what happened after your medical or biometrics okay so you you applying to come here in canada you waited for many years oh god many months and at last they gave, the immigration gave you notice to do your uh, medical and biometrics okay so this is very important okay because um once the immigration give you notice to do your medical or your biometrics they give you only 30 days to complete your application is almost there okay very close to come now in canada it's either approved or denied okay so we don't know but anyway before you go to a panel position to the immigration uh, doctor for your laboratory for your medical test please go to if you have your own family doctor you have to go first ask your family doctor to do a general checkup for you laboratories okay just to make it sure you don't have any illnesses make it sure you are healthy enough only eligible applicants uh, receive a uh, notice for a medical test uh, mostly people who are uh, uh, under uh, study permit and um, work permit visa okay so um, you have to book an appointment and um, of course you have to pay how about the biometrics for the biometrics you need to book an appointment also it's the same thing 30 days they will give you 30 days to complete okay so book an appointment uh, biometrics is they will do a fin fingerprint for you and bring an ID they will give you all the instructions once you receive a letter from the immigration they will give you the instructions what to do and uh, before and when you go to your appointment you need to bring that form with you the reason why they will do fingerprinting it's because they need to see any uh, criminal records you have any history of um, how do you call this one if they deported you in some other countries or are you being uh, refugees the border officer will use that fingerprint to the port of your entry they have to make it sure that it is the same person for biometrics there's a fee for that is 85 dollar canadian dollar okay you can pay it online after your fingerprints and after your medical the, the immigration will review okay they will review again your application they will have to make it sure you are fit to come in this country they will uh, review your applications they might request you they will email you to uh, send your passport to them for a stamp okay oh my goodness <laughs> a stamp to have a visa to come here in Canada guys okay otherwise they will give you a rejection for your application denied for some reasons they will give you the explanations why okay so anyway oh my goodness that's the excitement part if you got your visa to come here in Canada that is so thankful to God that is so hallelujah oh my gosh okay so anyway I'm the one who is excited to you guys <laughs> after you submit your biometrics and your medical there is no exact timeline when they're going to give your visa okay some they can wait for two weeks a month I, I, we don't know okay so the most important guys you are healthy enough uh, you are healthy you know you pass your medical and no criminal records okay so anyway guys that's all for today good luck to all of you guys applicants out there who waiting their uh, application and yeah welcome to canada and that's the most exciting part welcome to canada and ready to face the reality <laughs> reality anyway here i am again so anyway guys that's all for today and thank you so much for watching and as i said many times just don't give up you know what guys it's very very hot today in calgary uh, they always have the warning warning heat warning in calgary for almost like oh my god since like july august now it's almost like september and it's still hot so we are very lucky you know because sometimes we have an early snow even like i experience third week of august we have snow in calgary and uh, like uh first week or second week of september we have snow so you know alberta 
so anyway guys <laughs> i'm not talking about the weather so anyway see you guys you guys take care bye